What's up, word nerds? It's Thursday, February 16th, 2023. Welcome to Alpha Bento. My name's Lawrence, and I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword. We've got one by Kevin Patterson today, and uh, I am excited for, the, you know, it's our last themed puzzle of the week. Wrapping up this week, I'm uh, excited for the, the Thursday puzzle. I feel much more energized than yesterday. Let's get into it. Sound before a toast. Um, sound before a toast. So, before, like, I'm assuming it's referring to, like, clinking the glasses. But... What, it's only four letters. Clink is like the first word that comes to mind. What ding? Bing? What, what would that sound be? Hmm. Uh, grin and bear it. Uh, grin and bear it. So you grin and you bear your teeth, your smile, your bear gums, bear it. What's seven down? That might help. Cry of triumph after a good performance. Just like, yes. Green and Barrett. Oh, boy. Interesting. Dorm VIPs. That's got to be RAs. Spanish term of endearment. Um, Spanish term of endearment. For some reason, nothing's coming to mind. Actress, Shur actor, or Sharif, I think is Omar Sharif. Next generation releases. Next generation releases. Hmm. Turkish city that lends its name to a species of rabbit, cat, and goat. Interesting. Don't know that. Dramatic honor. Dramatic honor. Maybe like an Obi? Or it could be a Tony? I don't know. Start of XXX. Start of XXX. Tick? Like tic-tac-toe, maybe? Cousin blank succession character. Ooh, I have watched succession, and I do like succession a lot. But this isn't coming to mind either. Who's the cousin? Lead into care. Last model on iPod's product line. What was the last one? The micro? Maybe? Spec. Iota, maybe? Aid in self-defense could be Mace. Musical with the song, It's a Hard Knock Life. That's Annie. Sound of contentment. Ah, uh, or ah. Uh. Industry, <clears throat> excuse me, industry bigwig. A baron, maybe? Uh, exchange words, or exchange words. Expatriate. Ex expatriate. This is one of those words. I am an expat. Uh, but this is one of those words that I'm always not quite sure how to pronounce it when I read it. Because <laughs> it looks like... It should be a verb, like expatriate. But I think it's expatriate, right? Anyways, female whales. Oh, man. Are female whales called sows? I'm not sure. Female whales. I'm going to skip that. Non-basic characteristic. Acidity? Vehicle with a pedal assist mode. Vehicle with a pedal assist mode. Is it like a Tesla, maybe? Could be. Flat for short. Letter shaped gasket. Letter shaped gasket. Like a L. Something, I don't know. Uh, sketchy stranger in slang. A rando, maybe? Ju. What? Ju. Juillet? Juillet? To juillet, for example? Self? I don't know. That's a weird clue. Hunk? A gob, maybe, or something? I don't know. 
blank from the bridge. Oh, I have no idea. Blank honor. Pod producer. Pod producer. Multi-hued bird. Man, it might give you the chills. Ice? Who knows? Singer known as the Queen of New Age. Highway number. Scepter toppers. Orbs, maybe. Treasure. Kind of milk. Soy, oat. Put on... Where? Oh, it could also be like a ruse, like a put on. What it what band with the 1982 hit I Want Candy? I have no idea. 57 down. Sturgeon delicacy. It's freezing. Burr. Put on. This might be row? It says workplaces for some essential workers or ERs. Yeah, there we go. Put on. Uh, war, past tense. Pressure. Like Sauvignon Blanc. Like Sauvignon Blanc. Hmm. Dry? Unit of corn? Ear. Oh, okay. Here's our revealer right here at one down. Accept defeat in modern parlance or a hint to entering five letters. Uh, into, into answer, entering five answers in this puzzle. Accept defeat is take the L, right? So, has the L been removed in some things? Sound before a toast. GIF, for example. Common conjunction. And, I don't know. Uh, ones who don't want to hear that you're laying down on the job. Ones who don't want to hear that you're laying down on the job. Easter egg making company. Ah, supply. Easter egg making supply. I don't know where I got company from. What am I looking at? Easter egg making supply is what? What do you need to make Easter eggs? You need dye. This is an L. There's three L's here. There's four. There's five L's here. Oh my God, look at that. This puzzle is not symmetrical. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, this has got to be, right? There's five. A hint entering five answers in this puzzle, right? So, because I saw C-O and I was wondering, like, color? And then I saw the L. Ah, so does this just, like, continue through here? What is happening? What does this mean, though? How, do, how does this work? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What's down here? Snap, crackle, and pop? Noises? So that doesn't call. Take the L. What does that mean? Does it continue over here? Letter shaped casket. Easter egg making. You take the L. I get that. So is this gonna be a similar thing? Oh boy, okay, so I figured out it, it's gotta have something to do with these L's. I mean, it, it can't be coincidence that they're, this breaks the symmetry of the puzzle to have these five L's in here. So that's gotta be it, but then how does it work? is the next question, which is actually, that makes sense of, as to why they would put the revealer here at the beginning, because there's an extra layer that you have to figure out. Like, it's easy, once you see this reveal, it's easy to realize, oh, there's L's here. I mean, it's, maybe, it's not like super easy to realize, but it, it's 
not too difficult to realize that there's a there's five L's here. All right, so these have like this is hinting you that there this has to be something to do with it. But then there's the extra step of figuring out. Okay, now that you realize there's five L's here, what the heck do you do with them? Restaurant critics concern. Restaurant critics concern. Hmm. Cry of Triumph. Director Gerwig. This is Greta, so it's not Micro. Last model in iPod's product line. What was the last model? Oh, the touch. Ah. That's right. Yeah, I had an iPod Touch. It was before I could afford to have an iPhone. I, I still wanted the iPhone, but I, I couldn't afford one. So I got an iPod Touch instead. It was the next best thing. Uh, word that retains its meaning when its third letter is removed. So that would be the T. Rotund and round. Levels, DJ, 2011, Avicii. Uh, scented pouch, a satchel. What was Ova here? What was this? Next generation really. Ah, okay, that makes sense. And what do we have here? Exchange words. Exchange words. So uh, this has got to be something to do with the L, then, right? Because this can't be anything. Like, that D-I-L is definitely right. Like, I'm quite certain about Rotund, Avicii, and Satchel. So, I don't know what other word could go here with just these four letters. So, this must have something to do. Exchange words? Daredevil may hit the slopes with it. Daredevil may hit the slopes with it. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's just uh, keep going. I still haven't seen all the clues yet, so let's just keep going through. Underground rock. A bit of progress. Event first observed in 1970. Event first observed in 1970. Hmm. Daredevil may hit the slopes with it. Band with the 1982 hit I Want Candy. Joint stockholders. It does go through the bend. This is, I know what this is. This is weed dealers, and it goes through the L and comes out the end, ERs. Weed dealers. Boom. Okay, so. It's here. Cry of Triumph after a good performance is... Oh, I was wrong about Satchel. It's Sachet. Sachet? 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 Sachet. And then this is Nailed It. And what was this? Exchange words. Oh, Edit. Ah, very good. Ooh. Ooh, man. That took me a minute. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can't go with a pedal assist mode. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a Tesla. It's an e-bike. That's what it is, right? And I think this is maybe just like one ski. Whoo, okay. All right, so now now we know how the L's work. So um, does this help with this? Easter egg making supply food coloring. And it goes down, boom, food color. And it's an O-ring. Ooh, very good. Ooh, man, what a great puzzle this is awesome 
Uh, all right. Uh, is this ambiance, maybe? What is this? Grin and Barrett a fang. This was an OB. Uh, yeah, ambience. I don't know why I said it ambiance, like a... <laughs> Like, uh, I guess that's French, maybe? Ambiance. Uh, ambience. Female whales. Are they just cows? What's 34 down? Certain money transaction is a wire. Yeah, it's just cows. Interesting. Okay, hold on. We're skipping around. Let's keep going with the downs in order. Uh, nope, don't know what that is. Still don't know. I know the song, I Want Candy, but I don't know what the band is. Right? It's I want candy. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Certain woodwind requirement. Oboe Reed, maybe? Henry Ford or Nikola Tesla. Engineer. Uh, emphatic affirmative. God, yes. Maybe. Uh, cannon loader. Cannon loader. Not sure. Blockbuster of 2009. 2009. Avatar. Hot towel before a meal, say. Hot towel before a meal. A nicety, maybe? Alternative to wind or solar gas. Is this eyes? Might give you no, no. This is this is indeed ice, I think. And then so alternative to wind or solar. Oh wait, uh, this is this is an L here, so this will go through. Um, nuclear, nice, 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 nice. All right, lights up. What's forty-seven across? Hunk. Ooh, gob. <laughs> I was right. Lights up. Beams maybe. Brilliant fish. Not sure. Seek damages from a Sioux. And then here we go. We're back at the beginning. So now I can jump around a bit. I'm curious about uh, this last L that I haven't filled in yet. Ones who don't want to hear that you're laying down on the job. So this is lice, L-I-C-E, maybe something police. Um, ones who don't want to hear that you're laying down on the job. I think police, probably. What's 35 across? Non-basic characteristic. Non-basic characteristic. And 38, flat for short. Oof, don't know. Lead into care. Medicare. Uh, event first observed in 1970. Here. Hmm. What do we have here? Ah! This must be uh, July in French. And then année is year in French. Very good. So it's July to July is a year. Um, your honor. This is something day, right? Uh, maybe Baron is wrong. Actually... Wait. So food coloring is right. Ambience is right. So no, Baron is probably right. I don't know what this day is though. Year. Ah, the grammar police because it's not laying down on the job. It's lying down on the job, right? Oh man, okay. Sound before a toast. Oh, maybe and is wrong. Ting. Uh, common conjunction, nor? GIF, for example, image? Spanish term of endearment. Turkish city, oh, and Ankara, cat. Image cousin Greg. Hold on. Uh, 
Mi amor. Bit of progress. Underground rock is magma. Spec is a, a moat? A mite? A moat. Mite? Which one? Moat? Mite? Mite. No. Moat. <laughs> An inroad, I think, is what it's going for there. Ex what? from the bridge maybe pod producer tide uh, multi-hued bird a uh, macaw probably and singer known as the queen of new age it's gotta be Enya highway number root is this ramrod yes and oat milk whoops oat milk there we go this looks like a steam treasure uh, brilliant fish is the tetra pressure is duress alright so it's just this last area that I am very confused on flat for short. I feel like something is wrong, but event first observed. Is it like? early day or something what is, i don't know what that is but like is that a thing Unless something else is wrong i don't think anything else is wrong band with the 1982 hit i want candy bow wow wow maybe bow what wow wow this doesn't look... What is this? Flat for short. Flat for short. Ewad? Something's wrong, I feel like. Loop? Something's definitely wrong. Okay, I'm gonna figure out what's wrong, and I'll come back when I figured it out. So I'm a, I'm gonna cut here. I'm not gonna make you watch me work through this for however long this takes. And there we go. I finally got it. All right, I figured out. Uh, I, I, I actually figured out Earth Day first is where where I um, I, I figured like E A R and then two letters and then D A Y. It's got to be Earth Day. Like I've, it finally clicked. Like uh, that's got to be what it is. And then I saw <laughs> that in Weed Dealer, I I had only, I had put the two words together, and so there was only one D when with Weed Dealer there should be two Ds, one at the end of Weed and at the beginning of Dealer, which I just didn't note, I just brain farted through that and didn't notice uh, the whole time. Uh, but then I finally saw, and then I was like, oh, this must be pot, and uh, that, that clinched it, that uh, clued me into everything. And uh, it all fell into place, and there we go. What a cool, what a cool little puzzle. Also, this is flat for short, 2D is, I like that, actually. It took me a minute to, after looking at, after I put in pot, and I was like, what, what is that, though? <laughs> the 2D is very good. Low pH for non-basic, uh, and then deport for expatriate. I guess it is e expatriate. I, I always get confused uh, with that word. But anyways, very nice. Very nice. Uh, what a cool theme. I really love uh, the fact that it revealed it right away. That's like, because it's immediately thrown, like, that in and of itself is unusual. So it just makes you go like, oh, interesting. Um, but that kind of clues you into the fact that like, ooh, th that this is maybe going to be a tough one to figure out then. If, if they're giving the revealer right away, then... Um, 
that it, it's probably going to be a, a, a tricky thing to actually fill in. And it ended up being not super tricky, uh, but still, uh, it, it took some time to figure out what was going on. I also like the fact that, like, take the L could also be, like, taking the, like, if the L is a train, like, take the L train. Um, like, it's like these uh, answers are kind of traveling through the L, like they're taking the L train, literally, and just going through it and then fa coming out the other side, which is also really nice as well. It's just like it adds another kind of like cool little layer to it. Um, grammar police is it's just so good. Pot dealers. Uh, nailed it. The food coloring. There are just really good entries as well. Nuclear. Uh, all of the, the themed entries here are just really good choices of phrases as well. They're uh, full of, you know, that good flavor. Um, I really like it. This is a really, really nice puzzle. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of crosswordy. It has a little bit of crosswordies in it, um, but not a lot and not no university stuff in here, which makes me happy. Um, and uh yeah oh, super super good um when i say crossword ease by the way i mean like th words things that commonly appear in crosswords especially like three letter words or four letter words that commonly appear in crosswords that are like either just boring because you see them so much or they're just kind of like uh really like do we really use that word like that's kind of a stretch to, to say that. Um, uh, so, like, I don't know what I'm thinking of here. Um, I guess there's not many. Uh, I would consider maybe ah to be a bit of crossword ease here um, because that's one that can, the spelling can go multiple ways. And I, I don't really like uh, seeing ambiguities of spelling in, um, in the crossword, you know, uh, unless it's like, indicated because sometimes there are like variant spellings used for some entries but it, that's usually indicated in the clue if that's the case um but generally uh actually there wasn't really much crossword ease in here today this is actually pretty nice so um very very good like edit exchange words very good like man some good clues in here today also Really, really nice. Duress for pressure. Like, just the entries themselves, some of these are really good. Ramrod and Avatar and Nicety right next to each other. It's just a fun little stack of words. Rotund and Avicii and Sachet. Uh, like, engineer. God, yes. Oh, I just love it. I just really like a, a lot of the choices for entries in here. Anyways, I'm going to stop gushing. This is a great puzzle. What a great week. This was a, a, a pretty darn good week of puzzles. We started off with the food squares and food tri uh, food circles, and then uh, a, a, a Black History Month theme, uh, or just, you know, pro prominent uh, black figures from history. And, um, and now finishing the week with this one. Very nice. Uh, what a, thanks for joining me this week, everyone. I'll be back next week to do Monday through Thursday. If you like the video today and you want to see more like this, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, come join me next week. Have an excellent weekend, and I'll see you Monday. But until then, that was Puzzle. Bye-bye. <laughs>